Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Ah, as you can see, today I have decided to be Wednesday Adams for Halloween. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm just doing a quick tutorial on how I did this look. And of course, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of video. It's totally out of my comfort zone, but let me know what you guys think. And if you think it's, it's okay for, you know, a 45 year old to be Wednesday Adams. But anyway, so just keep on watching and see how this look came together. Hey guys, so here I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the stay in place makeup in the shade Desert Beige 2N1. And basically just putting this on my hand and applying it all over my face with a beauty blender. And this is at least, um, you know, maybe two, three shades lighter than my skin tone. Here I'm using the handy dandy shape tape, which I love, and this is in the shade Light Sand. And I'm pretty much putting this all over areas where you'd normally want to highlight, but typically uh, more in the center of the face. By the way, I will have everything, uh, all the products that I used listed below in the description box or something similar if I can't find it for whatever reason. Uh, so check it out. Here I'm using the RCMA uh, powder. This stuff is awesome and I really load it on and it does give me a little bit more of a white face when you put a ton of it on, which is what I'm doing here. Here I'm using the NYX Matte Bronzer just to do a little bit of contouring. I want to just put it in the hollows of my face just to make it look a little more sunken in. This is in the shade Deep Tan. And here I'm using the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Brunette. And I had to edit a lot of this out because I think I was doing this for about five minutes. I mean, I just kept going back and forth, brow to brow, just trying to get them thick and more like I'm angry. Um, so I think I achieved that look. Next, to set those uh, brows in place, I'm using, of course, the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Tinted Brow Gel. This is in the shade Espresso. This is a couple shades darker than I normally like to use, but I think it's perfect for this look. Here I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I really do like this palette. I'm using the shade Hillster and actually SBN. So I'm kind of doing a mixture of both of those um, and just keep blending, blending, blending back and forth. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here I'm using the one of the IT Cosmetics um, blending brushes, I do believe, and I'm using the shade Central Park, I think I'm using here, um, just to darken things up, make my eyes look a little bit more dead. Of course, hubby has to come and say goodbye. He's off to work. Here I just touch up and take a different brush and just kind of pile on SBN all over the lid and kind of the inner corner and just all around a little bit more. Right here I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara and I believe this is in black as black and just putting a very very light layer on uh, Wednesday Adams really doesn't wear a lot of makeup so I'm just trying to make it look like I'm you know naturally sunken face and dark lids and so forth without piling on too much mascara Okay, here I'm using just kind of a combination of things just to try and get a really dark lip. Um, this is just a NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And I'm not sure the, the color, but it's just a really, really dark burgundy. And I put a, a little bit of a layer outlining my lips of that. And then I use the Milani Supreme Cole Kajal Eyeliner in Black is Black and kind of go over it and fill in my lips with that. Okay, this is a really old uh, lippy. This is a Sephora, I think it's a cream lip stain, and I think it's in the shade 26, but it's really old. It's more of a really dark brown, but I think it goes really well with this look. All right, next up is hair. Pretty simple. Um, I just basically drew a line from the top center of my head all the way down the back and separated out two sections to do two braids down the side. I'm also going to tease the front here a little bit. I know that Wednesdays is a little bit more of a messy look. Um, so I just kind of teased that a little bit and then uh, just did two side braids.
course, I have to do a bit of a widow's peak. I do not have a natural one, so I am drawing one in again with that Milani Supreme Cole Kajal Eyeliner in Blackest Black. And I just basically drew that in, filled it in, and then also went up the hairline a little bit just so that that white or, you know, maybe some gray, of course, um, <laughs> wouldn't show through. Um, so I just did that and just filled everything in. Okay, once I had that a widow's peak filled in and pointy, I went in back with the Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand and just kind of touched it up a little bit and just made it look a little bit more pointy. And if there was anything like runny or anything like that, I just kind of covered that all up and this just makes it look a little sharper and neater. All right, this stuff is a lifesaver for me anyway. I use this all the time uh, for root touch-up. This is the L'Oreal Root Touch-Up Spray. Um, and it can get all over the place. So if you're not careful, this could, you know, you could spray your clothes or whatever. So just be careful with that. But it's a great root touch-up, especially for that in-between time for coloring. All right, guys, this is my finished look. I had to buy nothing for this costume. I used everything in my own wardrobe. The black dress with the cold shoulder, a white, just a crisp white long sleeve, you know, button up and some tights and some shoes. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're new, of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. I do videos all the time on fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, beauty, beauty tutorials, mostly fashion, but all kinds of things. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on my future videos. And again, thanks for watching.